So on iOS 11, you'll notice that there are some changes to the lock screen and the way notifications are handled. When I sent myself that test message, you'll notice that everything is centered now. You'll also notice that you have similar behavior to what you had in iOS 10, which is when you swipe to the left, you can actually see your widgets. I don't have any configured right now, but that I will show you in just one minute. So now on the iPad, you can actually, without 3D Touch, just press into a message and it will open the messages widget. With this new redesigned dark keyboard and the new apps drawer, you can see everything right there. And now for a contrast, you can see what the same widget looked like running under iOS 10. When you clear out of it, the message automatically goes away. Now here's where it becomes very interesting. On iOS 11, when you unlock the device, you'll notice it goes to the home screen. But then when you slide down to see Notification Center, what comes back is the lock screen. So Apple has centralized Notification Center and the lock screen into one. Also, the widgets have changed. So if you swipe left, and you see the widget view, there's only one column of widgets. There used to be two. Let me make an example. If we were to go to music, plain paste, tips, and weather, you'll notice that there is only one column that we can create and sort these widgets in. When we click done, you can see that everything is centered, which I believe looks nicer. This is, of course, in contrast to iOS 10, in which you would slide left and you would see this multi-column display, which looked a little bit off because the columns were not the same size. This concludes the tour of the new notification center slash home screen on iOS 11.